السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته جزاك الله خير 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 جزاك Uh, it can be found in all ethnicities. However, there are some clear differences between bilirubinism uh, arising in the east and uh, in the west. Uh, this is likely to be related to different genetic, environmental, and uh, cultural uh, factors. This is the world map that shows the uh, incidence uh, rates of, of bilirubinism from uh, several uh, studies. Um, um, All of these uh, studies originated from three main uh, parts of the world, from North uh, America, from Europe, and uh, the Far East, Asia. Uh, in Canada, the incidence rate ranges between one uh, to one in, uh, it, it is one in 19,000 black birds. In three states or in the United States, uh, the incidence rate ranges between 12, uh, one in 12,000 to one in 15,000 black birds. And in several studies from Europe, the incidence rate range between uh, 1 in 12,000 to 1 in 20,000 live birds. However, in the, in the Far East Asian countries, the incidence rate is much higher and it ranges between 1 in uh, uh, 2,700 to 1 in 10,000 uh, live birds. As you can see, uh, there is a significant lack uh, on incidence rate uh, of pleurotasia in, in the uh, other part uh, of the world. The objective of our study was to determine the incidence and overall outcome of Saudi Arabian uh, children with bilirubinism during the study period between 2000 to 2018, and to compare our results with those of uh, other large national uh, studies. Uh, this is a retrospective multicenter uh, uh, national study that included 10 tertiary care governmental hospitals, including the four liver transplant centers in Saudi Arabia uh, from different regions of Saudi Arabia. Um, uh, Saudi Arabia consists of 13 uh, uh, provinces and the 10 participant, uh, uh, participating uh, uh, centers are located in the three most populated regions in uh, Riyadh, Eastern Province and the Western uh, Province. Uh, the red circles indicate the liver transplant centers. Uh, uh, the, the national health care system in, in, in Saudi Arabia, it guarantees uh, uh, free of charge uh, and, uh, and access of health to all citizens. And it is designed that uh, tertiary care uh, is uh, provided by the, uh, the, the major tertiary care uh, hospitals in these three provinces uh, who receive the um, referral of complex cases from uh, the remaining 10 provinces. So we identified all the cases of bilirubin that referred to one of the 10 hospitals between 2000 and 2018. Our inclusion criteria include diagnosis of is made based on clinical, biochemical, radiological findings, uh, liver histology, and surgical findings consistent with bilirubinism with other causes of neonatal cholestasis uh, ruled out. The definitive diagnosis was made when cholangiography fails to show a patent bilirubin. However, when uh, cholangiography cannot be done for any reason, the diagnosis of bilirubinism was confirmed by operative uh, findings at subsequent liver transplant and histology of the excised extrahepatic biliary remnant typical of biliary atheism. Uh, exclusion criteria included diagnosis of bilirubinism uh, is not confirmed. Uh, and if the bilirubinism case was diagnosed and operated on outside Saudi Arabia. Uh, we collected data using the standardized questionnaire and entered into electronic database. And we collected data about demographics, a presence of bilirubinism, splenic malformation, date of referral to pediatric gastroenterologist and date of CASI operation, time to clear jaundice and whether liver transplant done, uh, and then the final outcome. Our primary outcomes included the outcome after CASI with successful surgery defined as clearance of jaundice, Another uh, primary outcome is survival with native liver. And the third primary outcome is overall survival with, with or without liver transplantation. And all patients had a minimum of uh, two years of follow-up. The result uh, uh, is as following. Out of uh, 248 bilirubin cases initially submitted by the 10 participating tertiary care hospitals, uh, 28 were, were duplicate between the, between the center 
and 16 were excluded because of insufficient information to make a diagnosis of severe atresia. And the data of the remaining 204 were reviewed and the outcomes were analyzed. This graph shows the incidence uh, of filarthesia annually in Saudi Arabia. It shows that uh, the, the median incidence rate of filarthesia is 2.27 per uh, 100,000 uh, live births. So this translates into uh, one case per almost 44,000 uh, uh, live births. Um, as you can see, there is a, a steep rise in, uh, uh, in the curve initially in the first uh, five years. Um, from 2000 to 2005, it's not, uh, we are not sure if this really reflect a true increase in incidence of filarthesia or probably reflect uh, or indicate uh, some uh, improvement in the diagnosis and the referral of, uh, of those cases. Um, another important finding also here, after 2006, you can see here on the graph, there are three prominent uh, peaks um, at 2007, 2012, and 2017 with incidents reaching up to four cases per 100,000 live birth. And this could signify um, uh, some environmental factors uh, like uh, viral etiologies. Another important epidemiological finding from our study is it does, it show, does not show any uh, seasonal differences in the incidence rate. This table um, characterized the uh, total uh, 204 cases. Uh, as you can see on the table, uh, it shows a slight predominance of females. However, this is not statistically significant. Um, although majority are uh, full term uh, at birth, but 10% were preterm. The frequency of uh, uh, splenic malformation was 11%. Uh, the median age uh, when the first case seen by pediatric gastroenterologist was 65 days. And the median age at performance of PSI operation was at uh, 70 days. Um, this um, uh, flow chart, it just summarized the outcomes because of it's busy and because of the time, I'll just highlight important uh, findings here. Um, uh, 146 of the 204 cases underwent uh, CASI operation. Um, the remaining uh, cases, uh, 58 cases, they um, um, did not really undergo a CASI operation because of uh, uh, they were late in referral and diagnosis. So a uh, few of them, like seven cases, died before uh, CASI and liver transplantation. And the remaining uh, 51 cases underwent primary liver transplantation. Next, please. Not, not moving. Um, uh, another finding here is that 45% uh, uh, of those who underwent CASI uh, operation had successful uh, uh, operation. And um, at the end, uh, 50, 52 of those 66 uh, survived with their native liver. So uh, our uh, survival with native liver at the end of the study is 25%. Uh, this uh, Kaplan-Meier survival curve analysis uh, of the um, uh, overall of the of the total 204 patients, it shows the overall survival of 72 uh, uh, percent uh, in comparison to a survival rate with native liver of 25 percent at the end of the study. Uh, and this uh, Kaplan-Meier survival curve analysis it shows uh, the analysis uh, of the survival um, uh, after CASI operation sub uh, analyzed based on the time uh, at uh, surgery. As you can see, there is, uh, um, uh, there is uh, significant uh, survival with native liver and those who underwent um, CASI uh, less than 60 days of age as compared to those who, under, who underwent CASI surgery uh, between 61 to 90 days or those who underwent CASI operation uh, beyond 90 days of age. Next. Um, just in the, in, in the last few slides of my presentation, uh, I would like to put our, uh, our data in, in per, into perspective in comparison to other national studies. Uh, this table, it, compare, it just show uh, that uh, our uh, uh, time at surgery is 70 days, which is considered the longest time uh, to, uh, I mean, amongst all those national studies. Um, another, another finding, this graph shows the overall survival uh, rates among several national studies. Um, our study uh, shows the overall survival um, that is uh, lower than most of those national studies. Uh, this is the survival with the native liver. However, 
when we when we put our survival overall survival we uh, we compare favorably with most of those national studies and i think this is probably attributed to the success of liver transplantation in in saudi arabia so back to this world map we feel proud that now we can bring saudi arabia on on the map uh, after this incidence uh, population study with an incidence that is considered at the low uh, range zone uh, of uh, uh, 0.23 in 10,000 live births. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the incidence rate of bilirubin in Saudi Arabia is much lower than the incidence reported in East Asia, Europe, and North America. Uh, although the overall survival of patients with bilirubin compares favorably with current international standards, likely due to the success of liver transplant programs in Saudi Arabia. However, the rate of, uh, of Kasai operation success and survival with native liver are lower than reported elsewhere. So a late referral remains a problem, and therefore national uh, policies devoted toward uh, timely referral and earlier aid at Kasai uh, are needed. Uh, thank you very much.